Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I am here to do a quickie reading for the sign of Taurus. These usually turn into love readings, but whatever comes out, comes out. So I'm just going to say like, 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 comment, share, and subscribe. I really hope you do stick around. I would love it. Um, anyways, let's see. Something just isn't working out for someone is what I want to say. And there could be someone in this situation, you or whoever you're connecting to, it could even be a friend or family member around you who is kind of a lawbreaker or someone's breaking the rules. Um, you might become aware of this or you're going to get tangled up in it and it might not involve police or anything like that. It could be at work, like a coworker doing something they shouldn't be doing and you're either part of it involved or you see it happening. I don't know. There's some sort of involvement, especially if you're not the one doing like breaking the rules. Um, cause I feel work, school, things like that. But if that has nothing to do with you or your situation and it's not coming up or it hasn't happened yet, I just feel like things aren't fair. There could be an unfair, um, family dynamic here where it's just not a balanced situation that you're you know investing your time energy effort money into a family unit um, into your household into a relationship or a connection that's not balanced it's it's not yeah you're stuck in limbo it's like uh, one-sided I don't know what to do here some of you could be meditating to figure out you know, which step to take, which action to take, um, you know, should I continue waiting on so-and-so? Should I continue investing my time, energy, and effort into this connection, this family situation, this relationship? Should I let this person go? No matter who it is to you, what do I do? So I feel like you've been just kind of sitting tight. Um, hanging on to hope is what I just heard, but you've been kind of reviewing the situation and I just heard sometimes life just isn't fair and sometimes it feels that way and it isn't fair at all all the time you know it life will balance out eventually so whatever effort you put out into the universe and um, all the kindness that you spread and share basically will come back to you it's not instantaneous though and it might come back to you from a different person in a different situation or in a different way. So it doesn't always seem fair, but it balances out eventually. I don't know. I feel like you could be arguing with family members or friends or something. Someone close to you. It could even be a friend that you consider family, so not blood related. That I don't know. I feel like I'm being treated unfairly but I feel like I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. Like, like, what do I do? Because I really love you. I really care about you. You know, I don't, I don't want to stop being your friend or I don't, I don't want to, um, disconnect from this relationship, whatever it is, um, whether it's family, friends, or a love interest or relate an actual relationship. It's like, I don't want to have to, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be by myself or, I don't want to lose what what we've built thus far but sometimes you know connections go away especially if they were built on faulty foundations or if it's not balanced and that's what's going on here it's kind of what I feel if someone's holding back their true feelings it's like if someone's really upsetting you and you feel like you've been wronged in some sort of way I feel like you might have spoken up or you're about to, but even if you did or when you do, I feel like you're the type of person where if it's someone you genuinely care about, you don't go full bore at them. You'll, you might get pissed and, you know, speak your truth when you get to a certain point, but I feel like you still hold back even, even at your quote unquote worst, um, you're not fully confronting whoever this is because you don't want to be the reason for the separation or the divide, but you're not because this person's doing something to you. Do you know what I mean? It could be vice versa, but I don't know. That's just how someone feels. So if that makes sense to you, that could be going on with your love interest. 
and that could be why they're not moving towards you right now because they've got a lot on their plate and they're just dealing with a situation a home situation that sucks that's what it looks like i feel very sad i feel i feel alone is what i feel in this energy yeah it has to do with a friend dynamic or you know a brother from another mother a sister from another mother um or an actual sibling family member something um it, it could even be romantically speaking like you love you're in love with a friend and that friend isn't in love with you but for some reason i feel like this is more of a platonic connection between you and someone where you're just not seeing eye to eye with them and it just i don't know the connection doesn't seem fair I just heard you chose someone over me. So if it's a friend thing, someone might be upset that, like say for example, if you're the one that's upset, you're hurting or sad and keeping your mouth shut because you care more about this friend, more about this friendship than, than your friend seems to because they're spending more time with somebody else or I don't know, there's like a comparison here. It could be happening to you or you're doing it to somebody for some of you that is in that does it's like a a wannabe relationship or connection like you want to level up but this person just strictly looks at you as though you're just a friend but they don't really treat you that well I'm just gonna say whoever the fuck this is it's not fair it's not balanced and I feel like you need to move forward you're preparing to move forward person will chase your ass and they won't they don't want to disconnect from you because you do a lot for them is what I feel or they know that you're supportive and you've always been there so they can do whatever they want but if you leave I don't know they're gonna kiss your ass is what I feel or something like that because this is forward movement and then there's success here Someone's an attention whore too, I just want to say. It's like, all eyes on me, you know? Look at me, don't look at them or him or her or whatever. Um, there could be a collaboration here. Like, you could be partnering up with someone through work or a creative endeavor where you're in the public eye or you're doing something online. Um, I heard TikTok, so it could have something to do with that. Not necessarily though, but you, I feel like there's a collaboration here for someone where one of you is putting in more time, energy, and effort. Like one of you is the creative one and you're doing all the damn work and the other person's just sitting around waiting to reap the rewards of whatever success is headed your way, you guys' way. But it's actually your way because this person isn't fucking invested. They're not doing anything. Don't worry, you'll be successful, and I feel like they know that they won't be because they're they're piggybacking off from you, something like that. That's for some of you, especially if you're working together with somebody. There's someone who wants to be like you. Um, so if you're not partnered up, there is someone that sees success here. It could be someone in your friend group or family. Um, could even be a love interest, but I almost feel like if this is a feminine, it's another female. If it's a guy, it's another guy. It's something like that. Like, you know, I want that success, but I don't want to take the time to fucking put the work in. Someone might steal some ideas from you, or they already are. Because I feel like there could be a friend. It's not really a friend if they're doing this. Um, they're trying to move forward. They're trying to get ahead of you and they're taking your ideas. So zip it up unless you're ready to present whatever this idea is, whatever this project is to you. Um, don't blab it around town or don't even just tell someone you trust because they feel like that person's going to stab you in the back, steal your idea, call it their own and reap the rewards of whatever it is. So I don't know. There's a sneaky mofo in here somewhere. This person knows you're moving away from them. And they don't like it. It's pretty much what that feels like, actually. It could be in love. It could be a past person. 
who has a lot of passion for you. Because there's like fire energy here. This motherfucker keeps wanting to pop out. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, he can be promiscuous, but not always he or she. The king is like very attractive, very alluring. Um, all eyes on me. I said attention. Like, I want your undivided attention. So there's someone who tries to overshadow you or you overshadow them. Something like that. I also heard that there's an option who is trying to overshadow your love interest or trying to overshadow you so your love interest looks at them because they want to fucking be you. Like, you can't have it all. You know what I mean? It's, I don't know, something like that. Because this is beautiful and it is a sense of celebration and reconciliation. So it could be with a past person, someone you've known for a long time. Um... Because there's a decision in love that you've been waiting for. So I feel like you will be successful in love. Um, you are being seen by multiple people, whether you realize this or not, Taurus. I do feel like you're, you're kind of a hot commodity right now, for whoever this message is for anyways. Because I feel like you decided to focus on yourself and those on balance connections it's like because sometimes shit just ain't fair so i'm going to make shit fair ultimately um out with the old and with the new if somebody wasn't talking to you if they ghosted you or chose someone else over you whatever they did because i almost feel like i'm talking to everyone but you or like online say it's a friend of yours on facebook for example and even if it's your love interest or even if it's not, but I feel like this ha there's love in here somewhere, like you have feelings for whoever this person is and your friends or friendly with them. Um, if you, if you post something, they'll see it, but they won't like it. Everyone else will, or, or if you comment or like, I'm going to say comment. If you comment on one of their posts, for example, like, oh, haha, ha, that's hilarious or whatever. This person will like everybody else's comments except for yours, and they will reply to everyone else except for yours. They're, and it doesn't seem very fair because it's like, why are you excluding me? They're doing it on purpose, not to hurt your feelings, but because they don't want to draw attention to you. It's almost like, I don't know, some type of fucking family issue with that. I don't know what that's about, but it's almost like, if I acknowledge that you commented on my fucking post, which that's what... Facebook's all about, you know what I mean? Um, it's more obvious that they exclude only you versus everyone else, but it's almost like in their ment like their mentality is, if I like it or, or respond um, and treat you just like everyone else, then you're gonna think that I'm treating you just like everyone else, for one, that you're not different, that you don't stand out, and I don't want to draw attention to you or to the fact that I have feelings for you, so I'm gonna pretend that you never fucking commented or whatever. Um, I'm going to treat you like a ghost so people think I don't like you at all. Like, oh, I was just placating Taurus because, you know, I've known this person forever. We have mutual friends. So, you know, I just don't want anything to do with him or her. But they really do. But, but that's how they're coming across. This person has, like, mad fucking love for you, but they're treating you like shit. It's reminding me of this, like, of kid games, you know? how they say, which I think is total bullshit. It is, there's some truth to it, but I mean, parents teach your kids differently, just saying. Um, when they say a boy is mean to you in elementary school, it means he likes you because he's teasing you and picking on you. It's the same fucking thing. That's what I feel with this, but it's not coming across that way to you. You're not going, oh, this person likes me because they're doing this. You're going, do you fucking hate me or something? Like, why are you excluding me? I don't know. I think it's getting under your skin because it's not fucking fair. It's not balanced. Something to do with family too. Just so you know. Um, there's a family member here who just, they lack self-love or something. And I don't know. They don't want to, what's with the family member? Hold on. What's with this family member? Because I just heard, I don't know, there's burdens with that family member, I'm just going to say, because there's someone who has a lot of bullshit going on. 
there's a stressful family situation here and that could be on your end or your love interest end because like I said someone's excluding you it's someone that you thought was your friend that potentially you want to move forward with you see love and success in this partnership or connection and you were very invested in this person this person is choosing you I feel like they haven't said shit to you yet some of you maybe but with this energy I feel like you're unaware that this person actually likes you back or something um there's a lot of family stress here though I feel like their family might not like you or your family might not like them or that could be a, a concern of theirs I also just heard for some of you this person was in a relationship they're in a family situation that just wasn't balanced it wasn't fair they could have had to deal with court shit you know um, alimony or dividing of assets if they were married um, or shared anything child support something like that but I feel like I was very stressed out in a family situation this person could have vented to you about their their partner cheating or um, just issues going on and I feel like they're ready to pack their shit and get the fuck out of there like I see happiness here. I don't see it with whoever the hell I'm around or that's you. Yeah, they're trying to gain the strength and courage or you are to have a new beginning. Like I want to plant a seed somewhere else. It's like I, yeah, I'm i picturing this opportunity is almost like gardening in a sense. If you uh, say you found your, your favorite flower seed or favorite vegetable, whatever, whatever you want to plant. And it's something that you look forward to. This That's the connection. It's this love, you know, it's rare. Um, and anytime you tried to plant the seed, it didn't work because the ground, I don't know, for whatever, it was missing an element, whatever it was. And that element had something to do with the other person. I'm just saying because they feel like someone was given their all. And the other one was just like half-assed and everything. Or doing nothing. Um, but anyways, you have this package of seeds and it just doesn't work. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Because they're planting it in the wrong fucking place. Which is what somebody's realizing. Whoever that is. And they're like, I really love this fucking flower. I want it to grow. I only have one seed left. I'm not wasting it in this pile of shit because this shit sucks. It doesn't fucking grow here. You know, there's no sunshine. All there is is rain. This shit turns to mud, you know? And then my seed drowned. The muddy water. So someone's emotions are a little muddy, basically. Um, someone might blow up on someone, too. I heard they're going to walk away before the blow up, so that's good. So Libra sidestepped a conflict. So there could be a Libra in this situation or someone with Libra in their chart. Watch that if this is making sense to you. But anyways, this one seed that this person has or that you have, hell, Leo's here too. I picked up on the poison crap and hallucinogenics and shit in a family situation. That could be going on for someone here too. But anyways, um, I just heard leading a lamb to slaughter. So, because there's a lamb here, but... This person or you is taking this seed, their last seed, and they're headed your way or you're headed their way. Because it's like, I'm not going to risk. I'm not going to risk it. This opportunity is going to go away if I keep doing the same thing over and over. That was in Le fucking shit. That was in Leo's reading. The definition of insanity. You know, doing the same thing over and over, expecting different results. That's what someone was doing in Leo's reading. And here's Leo right here. That's so fucking funny. It could be a Leo involved as well. Um, we also have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio very strongly here because we have water, water, water. Um, we have wands. And we have earth. So there's a lot of passion here too. And burdens. But someone's actually taking action, which is great. Anyways. Yeah, that's crazy. But anyways, that's crazy. Someone thought that something someone said was crazy or you're crazy for thinking that your dreams are going to come true. This person loves you, blah, 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 whatever, something like that. Anyways, they're taking this opportunity. Someone's taking the golden opportunity because they're sick of wasting their time. This could also be 
partly divine intervention, I'm just saying, because I feel like life just isn't fair. Nothing's been working out. What the shit? How come my business isn't taking off? How come, you know, this isn't working out? How come blah, 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 whatever it is for you, because it's different for everyone. I just feel like nothing is going right. And I'm so fucking sick of it. And this isn't fair. I do everything around here. You know, I pay all the bills. I take care of blah, 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 whatever. I'm not doing that anymore. Someone was investing in the wrong situation. And they finally gained the strength to give someone the finger and work on this new opportunity. It's like I'm not going to sit here and hope for something to grow in unfertile ground. I've made a choice. And now it's going to grow because... Things are going to, they're slowly coming together. It's going to work out because the Eight of Pentacles is work. Someone also could be um, changing careers or focusing, putting more attention into, into a new creative endeavor. Because I feel like I have ideas. I tried this, I tried that. You know, it, nothing seems to be working, but there are roots there. And all of these ideas and all the effort and energy you put into trying, trying this, that, whatever, and uh, career-wise or creatively speaking, you thought it was a flop. You thought you were failing. You thought it wasn't taking off, but it is. You just keep planting so many damn seeds, they're all going to pop up at once. The second you plant in the right fucking soil. That's what I feel. That's beautiful. I mean, that's really fucking amazing. But yeah, somebody was very burdened by you offering this to them is what I feel. Or vice versa. Could have had a friend of yours. Could be an earth sign. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Could be you. Um, I kind of got that in Virgo's reading too, so... I don't know. Watch them all. Maybe I'll do Pisces next because we have Pisces and Cancer here. But um, somebody is secretly bummed that you're moving on from them or vice versa. I feel like I didn't want to get in touch with my feelings or I didn't want you to know just how deep my feelings are for you. But I, I think I need to let you know. Because the, the moon is on the side where the rainbow is. So it's like that's a secret. It's a positive secret. It's like I have deep feels for you. But I'm going to pretend like I don't give a flying fuck about you. And you're sitting there going, you know, I just, what did I do wrong? You know, I thought, I thought this could go somewhere. I saw the potential. You feel like you're the one for me. Like, did I read all the signs wrong? What, what did I do? Or I thought we were meant to be, you know, I thought that maybe the timing is off. Like, I just don't know. Life sucks. Life isn't fucking fair, you know? That's what I feel. And as you're sitting there thinking about all this going, well, I guess I should just go in a different direction. I'll focus on myself. But even though you're, this isn't wrecking your world, it's not stopping your forward movement or your success in other areas of life, I feel like you love yourself enough where it's, I don't know, the, re the rejection appeared to not phase you. So your love interest, this person, whoever it is, they don't realize that you are bummed out about this. That they don't, that that's probably got them in their feelings because they think you don't care. But guess what? While you're sitting here thinking about this, here they come. Yep. I don't know. Here they come. But... Why is there a nightmare here? Someone's having issues sleeping. I just heard PTSD. Someone could deal with that. Whether you were diagnosed or not. But I feel like... You're just kind of chilling. You're at peace with the situation. Even though you're not exactly happy. But I kind of feel, you know what's weird? It's both these people, no matter what your elements are, it's the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, so Earth could be you, and then Water, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but it could be somebody vibing in that energy because he has a lot of love to give, but he doesn't always show it. You know, he doesn't wear his heart on his sleeve or her sleeve, 
um, but it's feminine and masculine energy. And I feel like you're just staying grounded, um, which is why you seem unaffected, but you're, you are, you're more affected than, you, than it appears is what I want to say, because I feel like this is what's going on between you two. Like there's, there could be a nightmare between the two of you. So it could be another person who has emotional issues that's keeping you apart or it's been a nightmare connecting, you know, like this whole situation sucks. Like, why couldn't we have met sooner under different circumstances? Like, why does this have to be so fucking hard, stressful, whatever? I just want to hug you, hold you, be with you, whatever. I want to share my love with you. But both of you are, are feeling this way to an extent or you have at certain times. You could be getting over this feeling and now they're feeling that way. But neither one of you look like you're stressed or that something's bothering you or... or that there's something that's weighing heavy on your mind, you know what I mean? Or on their mind. It's just kind of like smiling to the world and I got this perfect family, perfect whatever, but fuck my life inside, you know? It's kind of what I'm feeling. Because <sighs> I just feel kind of worked up all of a sudden. Someone's also scared to share their feelings because they think you two are very different, but you're not. Because it's almost like you see all the golden behind her. He's got that around his head. Even though there's a lot of blue and stuff here. It's almost like when he, it's like when I close my eyes, I see you. It's your energy surrounds this person. And their energy surrounds you because her eyeshadow is fucking blue. So he's got the yellow around him. And all the blue is around him, too, on that, you know, that's what the water energy is, basically. And that's on her eyelids. So it's like, piece, the pieces of me are within you. It's like, you both see each other, you just don't fucking say it, is what I feel. Because you got deep feels. But someone's gonna say something, because they're sick of this energy. It's like, someone's packing their shit, that's what it looks like. Someone is a cheater too, and I don't feel like it's with you, involving you, unless you're the one that's packing your shit and leaving. There's an injustice here, but this person is your Ten of Cups. That's what's coming your way. There's some wishes that are going to be granted for you, um, and I feel like, especially if you feel like this relationship is a lost cause, it was, wasn't going to get off the ground, like, fine, I, I can't invest in this anymore. It's coming in now because of that. It might upset some people because when pigs fly, that's when this person's going to love me. That's when they're going to come in and say something. Well, pigs are fucking flying. Turtles are flying, too. I saw that in a different card. Um, this person wants to apologize. They thought you were above them. So there could be a class difference, an age difference, or you ascended spiritually more. You were, you were, you know, on a higher vibration than them. But I feel like it's like your energy is calling to this person. And because with all the energy, their heart is like open to the experience and they can feel your, your vibe. Basically, they're vibing with you. And I feel like they want to rise to the occasion now. Because they're going, whoa, I see these signs. I see these symbols. I see what's going on. And let me hang on to your feet. <laughs> Let's go. Like, people can't fucking fly either, you know? And there you are. You got wings. You're flying. Hmm. You got your wings. You're flying. Someone might be getting in an airplane, too, especially if there's distance. Not necessarily... I just heard, is it hand gliding? Someone might want to do that. Or that could be an interest of you guys's or one of you. Parachuting, things like that. But I feel like, that's so funny. I'm looking at the wings over my bed. I haven't posted the picture yet, but my mom ordered me angel wings to go above my bed. And 
when I just said, oh, you got your, you just got your wings, you're going to start flying. I was just staring at him going, I did just get my wings. They came in the fucking mail. <laughs> but I'm not talking about me. I just think it's kind of ironic that I'm saying that. And I'm like, oh yeah, I did get my wings. And there's a heart in the middle of, um, of, of the wing thing. Like that's what they're attached to. And it's, it's upside down, but if you're laying in bed looking up at it, it's not upside down. It's right side up. It's like the hangman. It's it's different based, based off from your perspective. So someone's seeing a new perspective. They're seeing things from your perspective or vice versa, which is beautiful. I think they're letting go and letting God because I just saw judgment. Yep, saw it again. All right, anything else? Because I gotta close this one out because it's too long. The King of Pentacles, again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's very stable energy. Um, one of you could be a parent or both of you, so there could be children involved. But I'm seeing the magic. I didn't see it before. This person was very down on earth. They were very 3D is what I want to say. Like, um, even if they're religious or whatever, I don't feel like this person goes to church for whoever I'm talking about. But there is a difference between you and this person. It could be vice versa. You could be the religious one, but someone's more spiritual and there is a difference between spirituality and religion, but I'm not going down that road right now. Um, that could be a conversation that you, you two have had before or that you will have, but that, that could have been a hang up. But I feel like this person wasn't seeing the signs and synchronicities or they weren't seeing that you're their twin flame, soulmate, whatever, because that's a different belief system than theirs. Like they, like that's not true. You know, they were, I don't know, They even though I feel like this person believes in something bigger than themselves, like they have faith in, in a higher power, God, whatever. Um, and this person could believe in different dimensions and stuff like that, or they're curious they need to see it to believe it. They don't have a lot of faith, whoever this is. It could be you even, but I feel like it's the other person. It's a masculine energy um, or female vibing in their masculine energy. It doesn't mean it's a man, but I feel like some time has passed for one. You've known this person for a long time. You're older now. You're older versions of yourself. But this person is seeing the magic. Because he's looking at the coin. And in this one, you know, that's in the tangible realm. Coins and pentacles. It's, you know, it's money. It's these cards. It's anything I can touch and grasp. It's us. It's the 3D. You know, it's what we work towards while we're down on earth. Um, it's the tangible things. That's what this person was focused on. Or you. And the other person, or you, whoever, was more... Yeah, you were focused on your work and yourself and your success and whatever, but I feel like there's a sense of manifestation and magic to one of you, potentially to you, whoever's watching this, the spiritual one. And I feel like you could have tried to show this person what you were talking about, but they weren't understanding. But I feel like I see, I see now. I didn't see this before, but for some reason, something happened to this person that had nothing to do with you is what I feel that opened their eyes. It's probably when their eyes are fucking shut. I'm just saying, because look in this justice card, her eyes are shut, his or hers. And in the reverse, they're wide open. So it's like, do you see me when you close your eyes? Yes. But this person fucking sees you when their eyes are wide open, too. Because look, there's magic. Something, a blessing could have had, could have came their way. Something that they didn't expect besides you and this blessing of love, you know. And it's like, whoa, I see. If you read tarot online or do anything esoterical for, for the public, basically, with this, this is a small message. I didn't even see this here, but it's poking out. I do feel like you will be recognized. You will be successful. This person is seeing your confidence and they're seeing that you're fucking right. Okay. It's something like that. You said or did something spiritually speaking. You had an intuitive hit. Some of you, one of you, whatever. It's not for everyone, 
because not all of you are in this high priestess energy and not all of you share your gifts online. And for some of you, even if this wasn't online, you could have said something to them, like spirit downloaded information into you and you could have said something to this person or they said it to you and you didn't even realize it was from, from spirit potentially. Some of you did, some of you didn't. And it was like, whoa, I don't know. I need to see more. I need more information. This person needed more information or you did. They saw something online that involved you or you saw something that involved them. And it's like magic in front of their fucking face. That's what this is. Because he's smiling at this like, I see. I see the magic. I see the orbs floating around you. I see... I see the changes. I see what... You know, I'm picking up what you're fucking putting down because I get it. I didn't always get it. It's like when you go to school, you know, we all go to school because we don't, don't, don't go on the tangent about the education system, blah, 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 in the U.S. <laughs> Someone might do that, but my point is, is we wouldn't understand math and um, English or, or whatever language you speak, you know, just writing, reading, all that stuff. We, how the hell would we know that we're not born with that knowledge? I mean, sometimes if you remember past life, you could be, but that's missing the point. Um, it's like, these are all things that we need to learn. It's taught to us ultimately. So when it comes to spirituality, it's almost like unteaching yourself in a sense, but you still have, I don't know, you still have that base level of, you're not stupid, but someone had to unlearn everything they learned when it comes to their belief systems. But, um, whatever you are saying or these spiritual, uh, spiritual signs and synchronicities, it was all alien to this person. Basically they, they might've had to do some research. I don't know. They figured something out. Someone got taken to church or school is what I feel like. And they're fucking happy because they see, Holy crap, you can't make this shit up. This was a sudden realization, and that's why they're sad. That's why they're all like, oh crap. What did I do? What did I do to you? I didn't mean to do that to you. You make me happy. I gotta tell you, there's something crazy coming in. Ooh could be a problem because oh yeah because whenever you're fucking happy and good shit happens there's fucking issues there but whatever I don't know I feel like no one can harsh my dream mellow you know this person is super fucking ecstatic and they're taking a leap of faith right towards you yeah don't worry about the problems but I feel like someone might have feared conflict but they're not fearing it anymore it's almost like whatever you know I fight for what I believe in and the things that I love and the people that I love and I love you. So I'm going to fight for this. That's kind of what I feel with that. So it's like anyone wants to come against us, bring it bitch or bitchless assholes, whatever. I don't fucking care. Yeah. You've known this person for a very long time. They could be saying that to baby mom or baby daddy on your end or their end. Um, I just heard I ain't keeping up with the fucking Joneses, the Joneses no more. So I don't care about society standards. I don't care about this persona. I'm taking the fucking mask off. Awesome. That's fucking beautiful. That deserves a thumbs up. Just gonna say. But that's what I have for you. Hopefully it helps. Hopefully it makes sense. Um, I love you a long time and I'll talk to you real soon. Peace.